threads. It's the same thing that I've noticed that I think about 10 years ago, when I was first doing this stuff, lots of death threats all the time. Like it was, it, it was the norm. Um, yeah. But I have noticed that, especially in the last three or four years, you know, especially since people got desensitized to these cartoons and mm. all of that, um, last three or four years, it's decreased a lot dramatically. Um, where it hasn't decreased is, you know, like my the women, the ex-Muslim women I know, like my wife, yes. lots yes. of rape threat, lots yeah. of sexualized we're, stuff. We're, but we're, with yeah. me, nobody seems to, uh, you know, and, and she has yeah. a different approach too, but even this independent of approach, uh, just even other ex-Muslims that I talk to, not a lot of threats for the men, but lots of stuff for the women. Well, I mean, his point, to Ali's point, my wife gets a lot of... Uh, the threats because of the stuff I do. So you're right. Oh, the woman, the woman do get it way worse. Like yeah, even, well, even the he gets are my wife is not even an activist, and so she's getting uh, messages. With my wife, she says the amount of time, and it's a lot of them is from girls. The amount of time girls give her dirty looks, like normally women in, in, in her job. Like now, I don't want to talk to you. I know who you are, whatever. But I was like, uh, you know, maybe they don't mess with me. But maybe I think it's because they can't handle the fact that a woman mm. has come out and said what she has said. And he's unapologetic about it. She's taken off the hijab. She's speaking openly and clearly. And it's one thing for a guy to say, Joe TK, we'll, you know, whatever, we'll excuse that. But the women, I mean, this happened in all, in all cultures and societies. The women are more precious. They're more, we have to protect them. We have to, they can't say this. They can't, for biological reasons, even which reasons, whatever you want to call it. Nevertheless, it's no different in this case. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries advocating for atheists secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.